right now might be kind of tough to to visualize you know ada or the crypto market in general making some significant moves to the upside but what if i told you it is actually preparing for this 1000 percent insane rally to the upside i'm luxide welcome to the channel in this video i do want to talk about what i mean by this 1000 percent rally some shocking similarities between now and last market cycle and when in fact this may take place so if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that bell and let's go ahead and dive right into this so cardano bull dan gambardell actually identified and talked about this movement uh as it pertained to last market cycle for example he's re referencing this ada btc dominance chart and you guys can see that the ada btc pairing it, it went on a very similar structure to what we're experiencing right now i've talked about the fact that we're trying to set this floor right around this 550 sat level where we're tapping it we're tapping it we're tapping it and we're not at least as of right now wanting to break lower ADA is getting very comfortable being correlated with BTC. We got a nice little, little bounce in this chart yesterday. We talked about ADA kind of separating from the market a little bit. Like I talked about, may retrace, kind of come back down, which we've done. But we're still, we've still gained some dominance versus BTC, which is good. But really the big move that we're trying to wait for is this one. The one that happens in alt season, which last time, like Dan Gambardello uh, identified, was over a 1,000% move. And this basically started right around January of 2021 and ran all the way until September of 2021, the height of the bull market cycle for ADA. Now, basically, this similar consolidation move is either you know what we experienced back here, maybe back here. It's it's kind of tough to identify this. The ADA bottomed a little bit earlier on last market cycle. This was a little more drawn out, a little flatter. OK, so they're acting similar, but slightly different. Now, this is where things get interesting. What he was actually talking about was similar structure between the two of these. Both of these actually have bullish divergence playing out 2020 and now in 2024. You guys can see the dropping in the price, the rising in the RSI. Similar thing here, dropping in the price, rising in the RSI. So this is a moment where, frankly, things are, are prepping for this kickoff. All right. And what this signifies is, again, another massive move in the ADA BTC charts. Now, depending on where you're looking at your trends here, guys, we're either talking about a move to, to 4,500 sats, or actually probably more like 4,000 sats later in 2025, uh, or if you guys actually identify, because this is this was kind of uh, ADA launch, right? It was price discovery. It's kind of tough to, to gauge off of that. And frankly, ADA's target is more around this, this 10,000 sat range, which is actually a significant dominance gain versus BTC. We're still talking about over a 1000% move in terms of, of the A to BTC pairing. And you're talking more like probably six, seven, 8% dominance in the global market cap of crypto. It's where things get kind of wild. And you're probably wondering, what does this exactly mean for price? Well, that's where you start to get to the upper side of our, our price projections for price this cycle between seven to $15 ADA, right? So always, this isn't a guarantee or financial advice or anything like that. And what, what I want to talk about is when this may in fact happen. So when we look at when things started to move last market cycle, BTC started to lead the way in October. Actually, let me go back here. October, basically 14th, 15th is when BTC finally started making moves. Even after we got out of September, we were still kind of consolidating for about two weeks and then BTC led the way. Alts started to follow shortly thereafter. In fact, when we look at what ADA was doing up until that time, up until about October 14th, we were kind of still dealing with some some chop here. And then finally, around the start of November is when things began to to really follow the, the crypto market. All right. I'm not saying that October is going to be bad. I'm not saying things aren't going to move together right now. We're kind of at this point where where everything is just it's waiting for some sort of push. It's waiting for either a catalyst or just market sentiment to just flip the switch, something like that. And historically speaking, whether it's 2020, whether it's 2016, whether it's 2012, we're very much approaching this time where the market improves, all right? Doesn't matter what the macro is, doesn't matter what the sentiment is, there is this overwhelming push in the market. And eventually there will be this catalyst where this ADA BTC dominance chart does decide to finally kick off and start making some of these bigger moves. And the crazy thing is when this does start moving, it's a runaway train. All right. So now what that would mean for here, guys, if ADA decides to make this move, I mean, this may be one of the big, this probably would be the biggest move ADA's ever made 
in this chart, all right? We're talking a 1,700% move. Even on the low end, guys, you're talking about 700%. All right, I'm more on the bullish side of things. I think A to BTC dominance is going to be on the climb. I think right now uh, you're not seeing, again, this reflection of partnerships and and being tapped by governments and things like that. And frankly, we're still even at a time where the Cardano blockchain isn't used that much by retail. In these next probably 12 months or so, 13 months, we should see that use on the Cardano blockchain drastically improve whether that be from stables, whether that be an increase just from DeFi sentiment overall. Remember, some of the biggest times of adoption for DeFi protocols and on-chain usage, it, it happens in the back half of, of the bull market, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think ADA is going to be more on the lower end of this extension, or do you think ADA is gonna be turning some heads here soon? Appreciate you guys as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.